Hi guys, welcome to another episode of M. Stifler Tobago Fishing. Right now, I'm at a very, very familiar spot. I've been at this spot um, once before. I always want to try this spot with a medium heavy rod, right? So that is what I'm going to do since I have my eight foot medium heavy with me. Normally, here does have a lot of rough winds, but surprisingly, it does not. So maybe this could be my lucky day, right? I'm hoping to catch a Spanish mackerel, also known as a carrot. A great morning to sling some jigs, a great morning to sling some spoons. Other than that, see you on the water. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, four. As normally do five, but four go walk. Maximum strength, time to cut this bad boy. Oh, a good thing to cut braid is a regular nail clipper. Braid is cut. Greatest cut. All right, I have two rods. I have the six foot six, and I put on my um my Daiwa BG three thousand on it. This has fifteen pound braid, and I have my eight foot medium heavy rod. That is my Tsunami Trophy two. That has twenty pound braid. That has twenty pound braid, and those are the two setups I'll be using. And I own boy. Shut up on. Woo! Oh, and I own, I own. Come off. Come off, boy. How do I have one do? Do it, buddy. Come on, come on. They're biting it. But it's hard to land them, boy. They're running into the rocks. So just me. So let me put on the woo in it. They are on a corner, so they kind of have. Oh, I get one. Woo! It chop it again. Jud. What the hell? Jud, drop again, in it. Nah, the drop. Go oh, and I got one pussy. I got one pussy. Jud. Right there, Anna. <laughs> Yo, this spot is amazing, bro. I just need to be very, very, very careful. Place are slippery. Cast it out there. Jig it back. See if anything will hit it. Oh, but it's a nicer spot though. Ooh. I gotta be careful. See if I get any hits. Ooh. 
I just got hit D. Nothing. A nice looking inlet here. Oh! Ready? Something no chest stand by today. The close thing though. Jigging may not be the way. Let me just try straight to three. Two more jig casts. One more. I get one. Oh. Right there. Ah. Look at that. A giant blue bone. This one huge way. These guys are kind of violent. Love the hit, by the way. Huh? It for my line? Yeah. It turned bad, it fell a little bit. And I bite it kind of close, see, eh? Yeah, it yeah, was kind of close. Next one. I get one. Oh. Should I bring the gaff in? You have an next one there too. You have something as there as well. Oh. It looks like a yo. Huh? It... I feel it could be a blue. Let me walk him in. It could be our next. Oh. Blue bone. No boy, Spanish boy. I need something to hold it. Jen, I need something to hold it. Cause it right in the middle. I'm surprised it didn't bite through the line yet, boy. Yeah, just in, in, in a little crack. So you gotta kind of pull the line back. I 
and this is why we should always walk with a gear. Your game? Just do a run, eh, Judd? Hold him, Judd. Hold him, hold him. Yeah. Woo hoo! <laughs> <Freaking> his ass! <laughs> Hot like cellular. <laughs> Nah, this is a strong boy. That's why they're breaking the 70, the 70 30 split now, boy. Yeah, look at that hook you got in there, bro. Huh? Looking like he's a Hi, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I set out to do something and was successful. Jollibee has passed Spanish market for the longest time and he actually got one. That is the end of the video. Remember, everyday fishing is a good day.